This is the Guerrero Campsite 62 at the Oceano Campground. This is near Grover Beach, uh, Pismo Beach area. It's giving you an overview of our setup. You can see Chris over there cooking. Here is our generator and trailer going. Our car, cool stuff. get some sleep in the morning when it's daylight time is really long so we tarped it additionally at night we have these restrooms to the back that I'll show you right back there and there's two lights facing out that are on all night that were keeping us up so after our first night we went ahead and put a tarp over our tent so you can see see what they're doing over here. So you can see there's a propane tank outside of the tent. That is how we keep our camp heater on over the night and we have an adapter going on to the little buddy heater in there. There are the kids. Chris is cooking. I'm going to show you inside the trailer a little bit. So you can see there is an outlet there for charging up phones. His battery is in there. He has it hooked up to the battery charger that's right there. I'm a bubble popped at your foot. And there's the battery. So you can see the red and black cord going to the battery to charge it up. I don't know why he threw a fire extension, but it's in there. So you can see under here we have some other things. We keep some tools, Bobby. other stuff. We have our what do you call it? Cooler on the table so that we don't have to bend down so much. That's the big white one that carries all the food over to the right. There is a lifetime cooler. We keep all our drinks there. We found that if we keep them separated from the food, sometimes you go into the drinks a little more. So it helps retain ice and then we're running out of room in the big one for everything. I'm going to show you inside in just a little bit. You can see down there that is our extra water tank. So if we ever run out of water in our big other one that has a spout, we can refill it. So in here you see a couple of action factors. The one right straight ahead there. Chris keeps a lot of tools in there and stuff. Uh, little accessories, this lamp, lantern, things like that. But I want to show you how we have another action packer down there. That we keep all our kitchen stuff in there. And we're using it kind of like a table right now because we bring all our food in this food box, all of our dry foods, and we keep it here. Now, if we kept it low, it would be hard for our backs to go in there. And so we use this little space here to keep some of our other stuff that's at the kitchen right now and our extra containers that you see there. So as you can see, a bunch of stuff in here. Behind our cooler, we try to use it to put all our bags, bags for the tent, the bags for the chairs, we're just keeping them hidden down there, and there's an extra pair of paper towels right there. There you go. Let's head on over here. Show you where Chris is at. That is our kitchen. So you can see there is the water tank. We fill it up right there. Water spout. It's easy to work with. Chris is working out of a big pan chef table there. What you making? Hash browns, eggs, and bacon. And then we'll have some fruit also. So he has some bacon going on in the oven. Right over there, that is a little common oven. And you can just warm up anything you have in there. He's working off of a griddle. So we have a nifty setup here. Propane tank right there is running both stoves with some adapters. So that little common stove that you see with the kettle. 
use that collapsible bucket right there as a little trash can. And we have some logical cans right there. Yeah. Keep a lot of lanterns out. And this is our Cabela's kitchen. We don't have a sink attached for this trip simply because there is a nice sink out here where we can wash our dishes with hot water and everything. So as you can see right here, we keep a lot of our plates, all of our kitchen stuff. You can see there's some extra containers. Get to the table, both of you. Come on, let's go. So we have it nicely organized. And this is spices, coffee, and stuff. That container goes back into the trailer every night in that little space we had so that the critters don't get into our stuff. Up there we keep our toothbrushes. That little bag there is all our toothbrushes. There's bags in there for the trash can. Cameo we'll for the stainless steel stuff. My nasal rinse, uh, dish soap, scrubs, and all that stuff. Now this nifty tool is pretty cool because it's just a little propane tech with a torch. We use it to light up the stoves, light up the campfire. That there is our little toiletry bag that pretty much has our medication. So we keep it out during the day, put it back in our tent at night. There's a big old propane lantern there, battery lantern there. We're keeping our hand soap right there so we can take it with us to the restroom every time we go. That way we wash our hands nicely instead of just using water. And you can see there's another lantern there. We love this Cabela's kitchen. Has these little hooks there. We can put a lantern over here as you can see. We don't have a lantern, but we got them. Marks are to uh, roast our marshmallows or hot dogs. And then there's this other tool here. These were provided by Rudy, who gave them to us, and we've been keeping them for every trip. And you can see here in our Cabela's has these little hooks. We're keeping our towels, our oven mitts, things like that. Let me show you a little bit here. There is a big sink bucket right there. That is an awesome one. We just got that one and it is nice. It has these handles. Hey, we're eating so we're over here. We're another stuff down here. Yay. You can see we have another griddle there. Lodge, we haven't used that yet. Let me just show you the other side of the Cabela's kitchen here. You can see what we keep in there. We have a nine cup coffee, cot, coffee pot right there where we can brew coffee, bags, all kinds of stuff. We keep our pots in there. All kinds of other things in there. Very nifty. Let me show you around here. Here are the kids. Say hi kids. Hi. Hi kids. To whoever sees this. We got a bunch of candles on the table to try to keep the mosquitoes away from us. Centronella candles. So we've been turning those on at times. And Isabella is holding the bug spray. This one is DT free. It works really well. We have some of our chairs just hanging yep. out in there. We put them under the really canopies I, here at night so that it doesn't really get wet. Like you can see here we actually have two canopies going. Two, two easy ups. One for our kitchen <laughs> and one for the table. <laughs> nice, right there. Dragonfly. So I'm just going to take Dragonfly. you around on the campsite a little bit more. There is our tent. I'll show you the tent in a little while. Show you the out. Kids have toys there. They like to keep them just out and hanging out. As you can see, we got firewood out here. And we bring the kids an activity table. So that table folds up. They got all their junk there, I guess you can call it. All their stuff to keep them busy. And right now it's under the canopy because it's morning. We kept stuff. And we use these canopies for a few things. If you can see up there, they're drying someone's clothes. We'll keep our towels up, hooked in there. There's drying some other clothes too up there. We have a food box here. We're not using it. We're keeping everything in our trailer. So there's my chair. That one right there. It's actually a rocking chair. So it's really nice. You can actually rock a little bit with it. Over here, firewood. One thing we like to do is bring our gloves. You see there's two pairs of gloves in there and we also just got something we thought would be a good tool you can see in there the things for the barbecue a couple of brushes those were pretty inexpensive at dollar tree for a buck gloves kindling 
No, no. And we bring these two boxes, which really helps us keep our wood together. And if there's any leftover wood, we can take them back yeah. home. Uh, the other thing you notice here is there are fire tools. These are the tools from our fireplace at home, which we don't use, so we bring them in camping. And so you can stoke the fire with those tools. They look like a little fork where you can grab your stuff. So let me take you in over to our tent. Here we go. Where I get my breakfast this morning. Let me show you the outside of the tent. You can see in there it looks pretty neat. What we have is two camel bunks in there. Kids are on the outside. My mom and dad are over here, staying next to the propane and the extension cord, and you'll see why. In just a minute. So let me open this up. There we go. show you this one part we got a couple of mats right out here that is really helpful for keeping stuff into the tent those are a little expensive if you buy that exact brand but you can find some at dollar tree for a buck those are really helpful let me get my shoes in there let me show you the tent there you go that little big trash can there we don't use it as a trash can. We use that as a hamper. So we're keeping our stuff. You can see there's a fan in there. Put a chair in there. Got a bunch of stuff. Most of our clothes are right under. You can see there's a couple of bags down there. We're keeping the bags under that cot. This is Chris's cot. And he has to use a seat bag. That is why we're charging up the battery. As you can see, we have a heater there. That is the Mr. Heater Big Buddy. It's awesome. Works really great. Keeps us nice and warm at night. We haven't had to use it, but um, it's there and ready and we don't have to use the little propane tanks because we got that tank right outside. So as you can see, there it is. Extension cord and heater cord. That is what it's for. That is my cot up there. Now what we love about these disco beds is the organization, how we can bunk on them, not to mention they are very comfortable. Now we do use mats on them, so you can see right here, let me show you these. These are the Arch Mountaineer mats. They are very comfortable. Put them right in there. I use a couple of pillows to kind of elevate me. So there it is. Of course, I have to carry a leg pillow because of my back. And there you go. Down there, we have another medicine bag. Extra medicines out there. This time we are keeping our lantern there because I keep hitting my head if we do it right there in the center. I'm so tall, even though I can stand in here. That is nifty. I notice one other thing. We have fans. That fan is running right now because it's actually kind of warm here. We have another one just sitting off to the side, right there. So we keep two fans. This is a 10 by 14 tent, so it's a little big, so to keep everything circulating, we're using two fans. So you can see this is the kids' side. Kids have their bags down there. Jonathan left a pair of shoes out. And of course, you can tell the kids, they're the ones tracking most of the sand. They're leaving it all right there. Of course, kids. So these, this is another camel bunk. This is a newer one. We got it for the kids. Uh, we like that it's a different color. That way we know which one's moms, which one's the kids. Parents and kids. And look at the nice organizers. They are awesome. Keep everything, everybody brings in their water bottles at night. And there is Isabella's cot. Everyone has a mat. Jonathan has a different mat down there, but it is workable. We put our bags on top sometimes. We left that earlier. So that is our tent. As you can see, there's a lot of light coming in from here. But that tarp right here, it's keeping it nice and dark right here. So at night we can sleep nice and dark as you can tell. So that is our campsite guys. We wanted to make a video and show it to all of you, see what we do. And I hope you enjoy it. Now one last thing I'm going to show you, there's a couple of bags back there. 
those are our bags to go take a shower. So we have towels in there and we use these towels that are very easy to dry. Let me show you one of them. I bought these off of eBay. They show these everywhere. They're expensive if you buy them as camp towels. They're very light and they dry real quick. They almost feel like chamois, but they don't take a lot of space. And that's the nice thing. You feel like you're carrying less. I actually brought 10 of these. Um, so we keep them in our bags for now. And our toilet trays are, bags are hanging out in there. In our coin bag. Right here we have to use tokens. So we got some tokens ready for us to take a shower. So that is it guys. Hope you guys have a great time watching this. Knowing how we can. And we love you and take care. There's Jonathan ready to play. See you guys later. Peace out.